I was gonna do the Q&A like sometime during the next week or like you know what I mean um, sort of give my practice video more of a chance here for most um, of the subscribers to see but uh, I, I thought nah I've got way too many questions right now and that's so I thought okay I'll just do I'll just do this right now so the first question here is from um, Dead Island Trailers. What do you think of Street Fighter X um, Tekken being solely 2D? Doesn't that generate the 3D purpose and value? Oh, does, doesn't that degenerate? Um, it says the, uh, the value of Tekken franchise in the favor of Capcom's 2D style. Well, um, well, first here, yeah, it's not exactly 2D. It's actually 2.5D, which is the new format, which is basically 3D on a 2D interface. You know, Capcom's basically have only just come to that, so I wouldn't say that's Capcom's style. Um, now, the situation is, is that there's going to be a Street Fighter X Tekken and a Tekken X Street Fighter. The thing that I liked about um, Tekken, after seeing a lot more gameplay videos... What I was worried about is that they don't use the multi-throw combos with King like they're supposed to because that's what, King's, that's what King's about. But they did. They somehow incorporated it. I watched them um, in an interview and they said, yeah, that they built up a new engine from the start. Although, yes, it still does look a little bit like Street Fighter 4. Um, they say it's a brand new game completely. You know, so I've decided to take their word on that. It does um, look. I, I, I'm I'm pretty interested. I'm I'm impressed with it so far. I'm I'm kind of liking it. I know that most of my friends are hating it, so <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way it is these days, boy. Zaid Twelve asks, "What are the two games that deserve a sequel or a reboot? I think EA should make a new Road Rash game for the PS3 and 360." Um. I'm not going to answer that. Um, I'm planning to make a video where I say about 10 games that I believe deserve to c make a comeback. You know, so that's a pretty good um, topic. But like I said, I want to make 10, so I don't want to say, I don't want to answer your question now. Are you interested in Batman Arkham City? If so, what are some of the things you hope are in the game and what do you think needs to be improved from the last game? I never hardly even played, the, I, I, I didn't really probably play the last game. I guess I wasn't really too much into the Batman series. I mean, I, um, I remember seeing one Batman game. I can't remember what the name of it was. And I remember seeing my cousin playing it and banging out a combo on it. And I could see from, from that, it looks like it's just going to be a game that's the same way all the way through. Um, Beg to Began asks, Are you planning on making a part four for your Destroy Unwanted series? Um, yeah, I've got something down here that I'm thinking of destroying, but I'm just thinking of a new, unique way of destroying it. Can't keep just throwing things out out of buildings all the time. You know, I've got to try and f I want to try and find something a little newish, if you know what I mean. Um, second, where did you buy your Hedgeman Apo um, DVD set? Um, all from um, uh, Am Amazon.com. When each new episode came out. I kept buying each one as it came. Same same with the grappler backy. And here's some questions from our man Forp. Are you into Bloody Raw? I know you like Amphros fighting and all that. If if you are, who is your favourite character and who would you like to see in the new Bloody Raw? Um I don't know who I'd like to see in the new one, yeah, but my favourite character yeah, from playing the old ones, yeah, was um was her name Alice. She was a she turned into a pink rabbit. You know that fighting game that that and I did love that game. That game was a brilliant fighting game. I always used to say that was the 3D um, brutal paws of fury where Ray Rat came from. You know, actually, yeah, that, that actually that can, that can answer the question. Who would I like to see in the new be up in the new Bloody Raw? I'd like to see Ray Rat, but obviously that's not going to happen. <laughs> and set and set a second here. If there were was a new Bloody Raw, 
um, what would your own character be? Hmm. So if I was to put my character in it, I could put my I could put my character Zape D in there, who is a who is an Amphro character. But then, if it was a Amphro Tempth Uibis, it obviously have to be obviously have to be a bird face in some sort of way. <laughs> Maybe an ibis face would be cold, but then the the beak would be too long. So ibis's beak is pretty long. But you get you get an idea though. Anyway, though, what we, we could be going for. By the way, you said effort, your first question was in the new be, um, bloody roar. Then the second question is if there's a new bloody roar, is there going to be a new bloody roar? <laughs> anyway. And um, squeaky four cc asks, would you go to An Amsterdam for prostitutes? <laughs> they have some bit. They they have some sick, some sexy big booty women there that need some action. Well, there's all. Well, um, also, the one thing I would never go to a prostitute for is because I don't want to get AIDS. <laughs> Everyone talks to me about Amsterdam every day. Amsterdam's the best place in there. Is that the only reason why? <laughs> oh yeah, I heard you in Amsterdam. Yeah. Mac, they deliver McDonald's. You actually get delivered McDonald's. But a second question he asks, which would you rather have and why on a on a female breast or bum? <laughs> I haven't really got a reason, but I just say the breast. <laughs> and Evangelion um, 007, um Asks what what do you think of the upcoming battleship and missile command movies? Do you think it's a bad idea by Hollywood? Um, it depends. If it's, if this is the battleship that's based on the game and the missile command command that's based on the old Atari games, I guess there's not really much to expect because there's no storyline to follow in those games. Those games were more pick up and play really, so anything about them, I guess, could work. But I can, I can, I can't, I won't be bothering seeing it. I can see it not being my type of films. And did you saw Avatar: The Last Bender, Airbender cartoon? If so, what are your thoughts on it? I watched a few episodes in Infinite, and I think it was too much. I mean, too much of this super rich, not spells, but you know, do 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 do, do, do type powers and everything that yeah. More than there was fighting in it, weren't really my type personally. And Bellamy fanboy asks, if you could, what martial arts style would you take on and why? Take on, or you mean like learn? So lately, sometimes take on means that you're gonna take that guy on. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm a le learn. I would like to learn a mu thai. It's definitely. It's 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 definitely like an aggressive style, something here that you know. You know, I feel it's something that's easy to train in the sense of, you know, you just strike and strike and strike. You just got to make sure you learn how to do the strikes properly. You know, I feel Wing Chun was such a tough style, but Muay Thai could be easier in its ways. But I just think it's an aggressive style, which I think. It's definitely good for the streets. It's definitely good for MMA. <laughs> and second, if you could have a crossover fighting game with Tekken other than Street Fighter, what franchise would you pick? Um, I'd probably pick um, Virtua Fighter um, just because of the fact that um, there's other characters in there that's got different styles and it'd be cool to see how they would match up against some of the Tekken characters like Lion who does the Mantis you know that's such a unique style and um, it'd be quite funky to see Nina fight Sarah because you know there's a debate of who's better at them too Jackie and Paul would debate on those as well um, Jeff sorry was it name um, Wolf and King to me, by a clear mile, King's better. 
I don't know, besides Street Fighter, I, that's what I can see. That's, that's what I can see it with, really. I can't really see it going with Mortal Kombat. Could, but then it could not. I don't, nah, I don't think Tekken will go with Mortal Kombat. So I'd say Tekken versus Street Fighter. Um, Virtual Fighter. Um, Monstar HD asks, Do you think you'll be making many game soundtracks or movie soundtracks in the future? Um, I'm pretty confident that I will. Um got one track on a movie already which is the evil outside your window and um got 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 um, a track here coming out on the game so um yeah uh um yeah i've got i got i got i got mine plan and second can you do another face to face with barry <laughs> well i don't want to hog all of the barry's time because the situation is barry has done a face to face with me already and he's done with loads of other people as well already now if he does another one with me I'm pretty sure he has to do another one with loads of the other people because he can't favourite me over everyone else there I'm not I'm not that special <laughs> so it's all up to Barry I would like to but it's all up to Barry maybe I'll probably do it when I've got something good coming out the Pac-Man Classic asks what what is your favourite stage from every one of the Tekken games well, if you want to go to stage design, I've got to say that the, the jungle in Tekken 4 was the best because it was so big, it was such a big area, you could like, if you moved around sidestepping it, you could actually move to all these different random places in the forest. You think to yourself, right, it actually stretches out this far. All the other Tekkens, everything's just a little small spot and that's it. Especially... And especially Tekken 4, I think Tekken 4 had the best stages overall. There was actually a mall place where you could go outside the mall, continuing fighting, and a little bit inside the mall as well. You break glass to go through there and everything. I thought, I thought those, I thought Tekken 4's stages are much better. I wish they'd bring those back. And um, second, do you prefer X-Men comic books? cartoons and games compared to the movies like me um yeah I prefer the cartoons I think X-Men was the cartoon I used, to like, I used to love it a lot I never really read the comics of um, X-Men much but I definitely like the cartoons compared to the movies the first movie was okay-ish not bad if and that the, um, the new one um, first class I don't even think I'm going to bother with that to be honest but um Yep, definitely like um, the cartoons. And Mr. Grimes, the anti-hero, asks, do you have any upcoming animation or music projects for 2011? For music projects, it's just probably going to be um, just a load of game remixes. For animation... Because um, my character is going well, but taking long, I don't know if I'd say I have any projects coming up for 2011 you know my characters turn out coming out very very great and um, now I'm just starting to use this program which um, is gonna help me make him look more like realistic than he's already looking be able to add more definitions and more details to him but I'm just learning that program and that program is hard so I'm watching tutorials almost every day it's really, it's really hard than I thought, boy. But yeah, man, trying to uh, carry it on. You know what I mean? Um, what is your opinion on the PS2? It seems like it has a retro but modern feel to it, with games like Wipeout and Reality Fighters. I feel some games on the PS2 is brilliant, yeah. But overall, I felt as if the PS2 times were the worst times. I feel. PS1 times are the best times, PS3 times are good times, but I think the only thing what's I think the only thing what's good about PS3, what's saving the PS3, is the PSN. Some of the games on the PSN. The fact that you've got both the type of games, you've got the PSN games, you've got the PS3 games, you know PS2 games I felt some some PS2 games lacked some things. It just lost some things you know what I mean so out of all the free PS3 consoles I think the PS2 is the worst one 
And um, JSJ07 asks, um, I don't like the look of the Wii U controller. What are your thoughts on it? And do you think Nintendo will offer other controller options? To, to be honest, I think the Wii U controller looks fantastic, to be honest. The thing I like about it the most is the fact that um, it does everything. You now have a controller where you're playing like like you know like this and then you got you know then it it has its motion in it as well I don't know why I'm picking up the remote for my Wiimote's over there <laughs> um, okay I'm gonna take this because this is kind of almost the sort of shape on it right yeah the fact that you can use it as the um, motion control as well it has its little screen on it I think it's fantastic and your buttons here are absolutely still brilliant and everyone knows yeah that back in the day what I used to talk about when I play with controls anything that has two analog sticks on it yeah I prefer it when the control has symmetry this control has a lot of symmetry on it and I really really like it I don't think they'll make um, other control options unless they really get a big hate on it because the truth is that it does everything they're trying to make it for everyone I like how I like, that's why I like the idea of the name Wii U you know it's like for everyone and you it's got all the ways in it so I really do actually like that the idea and his second question was what are your thoughts on Tekken Hybrid is it a good idea or do you feel Nam Namco are cashing in on their fan base well the thing is right you know um, Tekken Tag Tournament HD I think that's going to be fantastic, you know, that they're going to start like remembering their, their, you know, their old games, you know. The thing I want to know about Tekken Tag Tournament HD is, is this one going to be online? Obviously the first one wasn't, it will this one be online? And if it is, then you can imagine that bare Tekken fans are, are going to buy it while we're waiting for Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And then the fact that it's coming with um, um, Tekken Blood Vengeance the movie as well, same thing, all Blu-ray discs. You know, I, th I think it's perfect, to be honest. I think it's a fantastic um, deal, to be honest. Um, Venom32-3421 asks, In Street Fighter X Tekken, what do you think of Cole McGrath from Infamous being a guest character in there? You know what? I don't know. I don't see what the point of him being in there for. I just, To me, it's a complete waste of time. I mean, what is this? Is this Street Fighter X Tekken X little bit of Infamous? Or is this X, Street Fighter X Tekken X Infamous? Why can't why can't I just stay Street Fighter X Tekken? To be perfectly honest, I think that's one of the dumbest things. I know it's good to try different things, but... What's weird? But damn. Come on. Second. What is the best movie you saw this year? so far the only movie I've seen this year is Tron and that would be my best film but but man I think it's best to ask this near the end of the film because we haven't seen real still yet because I'm way too hyped for that film and Badass Bros asks hey Tim Fiyo, it's not really a question but where did your spark go for making videos the first video I watched of yours Resident Evil 5 is not racist and that video was the reason why I'm still subscribed to you I'm just saying, if you made funnier videos, it may be better for you as a YouTuber slash person, because I know that depression is a horrible thing, mate. Right? Um, what do you think of this comment? All right, uh, quite a, quite a few people have commented me about that, you know. Um, so I'm gonna basically um, say this right now. The Resident Evil Five vid video is not racist video. I just remembered I was actually angry when I did do that video. I was actually, I mean, although I made, I did, I made, did make a little jokes in it, yeah. I before actually making that video, I was actually angry and, and frustrated at some of the dumbness that these people literally thought the game's racist just because of that, and I, and I thought, oh my god, I just had to just do that video, you know. So, as for Spark, now. I've got to admit, some of my old videos, I have looked at my old videos, and I noticed I was more happier in them, yeah? I think it was because, mostly, there was so much, um... I think, I think, I think a lot of different things happened, yeah? 
like um, one I had lots of topics to talk about and it was more easy to do things second I wasn't taking music and, an, and animation as serious as I'm doing now so I had more time to put to the videos you know and I used to do a lot of editing look put, put a lot more things to the videos the old ones and um, another thing was you know quite a lot of people because when I used to when I speak pretty hyped and I say anything I sort of just speak anything right and a lot of things that I do say yeah quite a lot and a lot of people were, were getting angry and annoyed at that and it was kind of the sense of I've got to try and concentrate on what I'm saying every time I'm saying it and and then when the flow doesn't go as the flow doesn't come as as fluid enough when I do it like that that's what it is and because I'm now trying to think of what everything I say mostly all the time now and I try not to re repeat myself all the time as well it's kind of you know it kind of, it's, it's what I mean I'm, I'm pausing now you know what I mean it's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to take it all in what you know what you want to say so it's kind of it, it's kind of hard hopefully Hopefully something comes back and I could try and make those type of old videos again. But sorry if um, my newest videos have been boring you. Um, Martino007 asks, Is the Tekken movie out yet in the UK and the rest of Europe? If so, did you buy it yet? Sadly, I haven't, you know. Not because I didn't want to. I mean, like, um, there's loads of things I want to buy right now, yeah, but... I just haven't. I've been basically um, putting the priorities straight and saving up here for stuff like this. Because you know, like, oh, I want to finish my character. You know, this this program costs five hundred quid. So you know what I mean? I, I five hundred fifty to be exact. And it's like, I, you know, for me to save up here to buy all the expensive stuff that I'm buying, I had to take a break on buying games, but buying music you know buying all things so you know what I mean I have not so a Tekken movie um, no, I ain't bought it yet um, second how many videos did you delete on your channel and what were they and, and why some of them were really really old Q&A's like from the from 2008 I mean half these questions are completely out of date now like the questions could have been like what favorite color was your control was your controller so what controller should i get and also some of the questions were like about games that everyone has now you know what i mean so when i feel when a q and a is at least 2 years old i must delete it because i know no one's going to watch it you know if it's at a date like that you know what i mean uh, also there was a few other updates like you know like my video I uploaded a, f a few days ago yeah which was just an update on what's happening so far you know some of them some of the really really old ones I've up I did a video of update and I thought oh my god I forgot to delete this so some of them I've deleted uh, so that's kind of the reasons why really and Joey Real Gamer asks did you know that Labyrinth the guy who produced Tiny Tempers Huge Hits Pass Out and Frisky is from Hackney and do you think he's talented quite a lot of these big guys are from ha Hackney and everything you know what I mean you know Tinchy Strider and um, Jermaine Defoe they went to my school you know St. Bonaventure's boy and uh, I do think he's talented I think his music's pretty good you've got a lot of talented people here yeah, from Hackney you know think, think, think of um, Adam Deacon who's a wicked actor he's from Hackney as well and second are you seriously considering stopping making music? I, now, quite a lot of people got that mistaken. I didn't say that I was going to stop making music. What I did say in that video is that I, w I don't know if I'm going to bother try succeeding with music anymore. As in making the music my job. You know what I mean? Where I was just promoting... What I was saying I was considering stopping promoting and stopping trying to get my music into games and get my music on TV that's what I was saying but it doesn't mean I'll stop making music but 
I said that because I was completely down. I said that because I was completely heartbroken. And, you know, when I say, you know, sometimes I say things and I don't mean it. You know, to be totally honest, if I wasn't doing music and animation, I'd seriously have no life. What, what, what do I do in this world? I might as well just kill myself. <laughs> so, so, um, that's how I, that's how I see it. So, I am not going to stop making music and I'm not, I'm going to, and I'm going to keep going. And Orson Miles asks, do you actually know that you are on the Wikipedia page on the, to, 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 okay, he didn't write it like that, yeah, but I know what he, I know what he's saying anyway. Um, basically, um, in 2006, I actually put my link there. I put the link there to my MySpace page and I didn't think, and I, I did that, yeah, to promote myself, yeah, with Just Joe Records just to show that I'm on something important and and I'm surprised they kept it there I tried making myself a Wikipedia page a Wikipedia article as well but they won't allow me that I need to have a bit of I need to have a bit, 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 bit of success a proper success that's in the papers on the TVs and stuff before they let me have a Wikipedia article so it's so unlucky, 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 I can't go for, for that far. But yeah, I knew I was on the Atari 2600. I was the one who put myself there. I was also on them, the um, Jester Interactive um, Wikipedia page until they removed it. And I was on the Game Boy Music chiptune page as well, but they removed that as well. And second, how was the f photo show with, you, with Joe for you? Are you shy in front of the camera? How much time did you guys need? And was it fun? Did it piss you off? The only thing that pissed me off is that when we were outside... Some flies kept flying into my face when I'm trying to stand there and pose. But you know what? I'm not shy in front of the camera. In fact, I'm shy off the camera. You know, it's one, one, thing, you know, one thing that's really funny, yeah? Random, yeah? I'm not that shy when I'm talking to the camera, yeah? I'm just talking to guys like nothing. You know what I mean, yeah? I can just talk. I'm, like, I'm more open when I'm making videos and making music, yeah? But when it comes to in person, like, if you saw me in person, if I came... If I was around Switzerland one day you'd speak to me, you'd realise how shy of a person I really am. I'm just like the angry video game nerd. You know, completely explosive and stuff on camera, but but it's just nice, easy going and, you know, hardly know what to say guy, you know. Ask some of the people who have actually met me in real life. You'll see what I mean. And, um, Malcro21 asks... What do you do when you're not making videos? I assume you have some sort of a job, right? Um, well, I say not some sort of a job. He says you do have a job, sort, right? Um, you assume wrong. Unfortunately, I don't have a job at the moment. Um, when I'm not making videos, I am making music every day and animation every day. You know, quite a lot. I've been working on quite a lot of music lately. I just ain't been finishing the tracks. I've just been working on a uh, working on tracks and then start work on other tracks, you know, it's already been finishing. About three days a week I work on animation, three days a week I work on music, and Sunday I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to take breaks and play, like, you know, play games and, you know, hang out, chats with everyone, stuff like that, yeah, you know, chilling, chilling out day, but lately I haven't even been doing that, I've been working more. I've been working so much. I've been working so much on music and animation that I've been forgetting to eat, and I'm and I'm I'm actually getting sick, and I'm not really getting much sleep that I do because I'm just um, I'm basically fucking myself up. I'm just doing everything I can, yeah. I'm I'm doing everything I can to 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 live like this. I, I really badly want music and animation to be my job, and I'm never gonna give up until I'm at that spot. And I know that's going to sound like a contradiction because of the, the last video, but um, I'm going to do everything I can to get where I, to get where I where I need to be. And second, green is your favourite colour, but what kind of green is your favourite? Neon green. Um, I like I mostly all light greens and stuff, but I, I usually like mixing the green with um, dark green as well because it usually gives you a more more better flavour. Um, but the the best thing I like is when the black mixes with the green. I just remembered yeah when I got Music 3000, I asked my friend yeah if he could if we could swap um, 
cases he had an Xbox so I asked him if, he, if I could give him the blue case that this came with and he gives me the green case so um, I got so you know what I mean I got this Music 3000 I don't know why Music 1 is in here though Music 3000 is in the PS2 right now so um, that, that's the type of green that I like and for Yusuf asks who do you think will win the boxing match between David Hay and Valimir Klitschko on July 2nd you know what yeah I'm thinking David Hay might actually win because Val Valimir is way too angry I don't know if he's able to um, I don't know if he's able to calm his nerves and calm his tempo because I mean I mean I'm not saying he has a short tempo yeah but David Hay has been taking a piss out of him for years and I think it's really boiled up inside him and and I don't know I think he's gonna go over to Haywire at David and David might capitalize on that so it's gonna be kind of hard but then there is a little bit of the biasness yeah you know David Hay man you know he's our British boy and then we hope yeah that he continues it on you know what I mean second who is the famous person you've ever met now this is a hard question yeah because it depends on what is more famous to more people because I could say John Bones Jones yeah but if you don't know UFC you don't know you don't know mixed martial you won't know who John Bones Jones is you won't know how famous he is then I could say Jermaine Defoe because Jermaine Defoe went to my primary school my secondary school if you don't know football or in as in the in Americans they call it soccer if you don't know you won't know who Jermaine Defoe is so it's a hard situation so I'm gonna have to I'm afraid I'm going to have to answer you that, that question with two names. John Bones Jones and Jermaine Defoe. It depends what what you like more. UFC or football. That will answer your question. And B-Boy Agent Tekken asks, Have you ever done... Have you ever have you ever did karaoke at all? If so, what song did you sing or rap? I done karaoke once and I sang Go West by the Pet Shop Boys. That's a bloody brilliant song. Loved it. I think I made it crap. <laughs> um, second, have you heard of Tekken Blood Vengeance, the first CG animated movie? If so, what do you think of the trailer and if you've watched it and why? Events of this movie will take place between Tekken 6, 5 and 6. Um, I'd, I did like the idea of the, of the movie. It looks like it's going to be brilliant. But I'm just hoping do they will they do it perfect. You know, At the moment, I'm not really putting my hypes up on trailers besides Real Steel. I mean, I really put a lot of hope into the Tekken movie and, I, and it kind of disappointed me. So, even though I'm, I'm happy with the idea what they're doing for this Tekken, I was happy what they did with the idea of um, Resident Evil Degeneration, but yeah, I still wasn't really proud with the movie. So, you know, it's good to look like Tekken, but you got it, it's quite at Tekken as well. So, and, and you may have seen, and I actually said quite a lot of things about um, the Tekken Blood Vengeance video in my old video um, well it's not that old it's a video we have titled I haven't learnt my lesson I speak about the real still trailer in that and I speak about Tekken Blood Vengeance a bit in that as well so sadly I'm actually more hyped for real still than I am this film but I know I will be getting this film because I'll get the Tekken Tag Tournament HD the, the Tekken Hybrid basically so but that's it guys um, that's all the questions here for the Q&A so thanks very much guys and um, I'm not sure what my next video is going to be about but, but I'm gonna kinda, probably going to um, start doing the edit of um, the games that I would like to um, see uh, make a comeback but that's all I've got to say guys thanks very much, I'll see you all later love you all